Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck, and as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, it's time for a mono red Cavalcade of Calamity deck featuring four copies of Hellrider, the four mana 3 3 rare from Jumpstart with Haste, saying whenever a creature we control attacks, Hellrider deals one damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking, including the Hellrider itself. And then we also have four copies of Cavalcade of Calamity, which is one of the centerpieces of the deck, as a two mana enchantment, saying whenever a creature we control with power one or less attacks, Cavalcade deals one damage to the player or planeswalker that creature is attacking. So both Cavalcade and Hellrider can deal a lot of incidental damage to the opponent, but are also important at enabling some of our synergies, especially Chandra Spitfire, which is arguably the most dangerous card in the deck, as a 3 mana 1 3 flyer, saying whenever an opponent is dealt non combat damage, Chandra Spitfire gets plus 3 plus 0 until end of turn. So the Spitfire gets 3 additional power for each individual trigger from Cavalcade and from Hellrider, meaning that we can often one hit KO the opponent with a single Spitfire attack. And another creature that synergizes nicely with Cavalcade and Hellrider is Chandra Spiraling, a 2 mana 1 3, saying whenever a source we control deals non combat damage to an opponent, the Spiraling gets plus 1 plus 0 and gains double strike until end of turn, so that can definitely add up as well. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, at 1 mana, plenty of 1 powered creatures with haste, Fanatical Firebrand, a 1 1 that can also be sacrificed to deal 1 damage to any target, and that also counts as non combat damage to potentially enable Spitfire or Spiraling. We've got Fervent Champion, a 1-1 Haste with First Strike, and we can attack and potentially give another attacking knight one additional power until end of turn, so great in multiples, and still counts as a one-powered creature when it's attacking to trigger Cavalcade, even if it afterwards gets one additional power. Then we've got Scorch Bitter, a 1-1 that when it attacks, deals one damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking, so that's another source of non-combat damage to enable our Spitfire and Powerling. And Torch Courier, a 1-mana one 1-1 one one with haste, and we can sacrifice Torch Courier and another target creature gains haste until end of turn, which is important to give our Spitfire haste to potentially one-hit KO the opponent if we already have Cavalcade or Hellrider in play. And then the rest of the deck, we also have two copies of Chandra and Cloud of Flame to start generating 1-1 one, one hasty elemental tokens that can help us enable Cavalcade, and it's also a bit more difficult to remove if the opponent is relying on creature removal. And then we also have two copies of Torbran, Thane of Redfell, which is also incredibly synergistic with Cavalcade and Hellrider, because if a red source we control would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus two instead, so now every single trigger deals three damage. And then going over the mana base, we've got 18 basic mountains, 4 copies of Remnant Ruins as another mana sink to potentially deal 2 damage to each opponent, and also counts as a source of non combat damage to enable some of our synergies, and 2 copies of Castle Embereth to potentially pump the team, which can be useful if we're just going wide. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with an acceptable hand. Probably gonna lead with Scorch Pitter. Turn to Pyrling, which can potentially be enabled thanks to Spitter or later Hellrider. Facing a turn one, Healer's Hawk could be a life gain synergy deck. So if they play in a Janice Pride Mate, I might regret not using Firebrand to kill Hawk, but I think I'm still just uh, attacking here. If they want to trade, that's fine. And then we'll play Pyrling. Opponent takes it. They do have an Alsaid of Life's Bounty. Make that two. So that's not too bad. And this turn we'll just play Chandra and make some tokens. Hey, don't start any flyers without me. Don't worry. I brought company. Sapparling. A 2-3 double strike. And next turn Hellrider could deal a ton of damage. Opponents plays Heliots. They're likely attacking with everyone here. But that means they could just be dead to Hellrider here. Because we're gonna get five triggers from Hellrider. 
which means Paralink gets plus 5 power. And then there's one more trigger from a spitter. So yeah, a little bit more than lethal here, thanks to Hellrider enabling the powerling. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand, double fervent champion. And we've got Cavalcade already. Uh, I guess I'll actually just play the Firebrand here. I do get punished if I draw a third Fervent Champion. But if we draw a third Fervent Champion we're in pretty good shape. This is better in case my opponent has a removal spell they want to play on my Firebrand. So a Radiant Fountain implies a colorless ramp deck. Double Radiant Fountain, pretty good against Monorant. Could see Mindstone, it's gonna be a Maze Mind Tomb instead. Can also eventually gain 4. And for now we'll just play Chandra. It's gonna be more mana efficient. If we end up drawing another 1 or 2 drop, we can play alongside Cavalcade next turn. There's the Mind Stone. So they still have 2 mana to maybe draw with Tomb or play another 2 drop. It's gonna be a Guardian Idol. So I think my opponent's dead to Cavalcade here. So on the following turn they might have been able to play Forsaken Monument, which can also gain them life. But uh, they should just be dead here. So yeah, despite gaining 4 off Radiant Fountain, they still weren't able to survive the turn 4 kill. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a nice opening hand, double champion, always a great start, and then cavalcade to enable Spitfire. Probably gonna play a champion before I play cavalcade. Thoughtsea is gonna disrupt our hands, could take Spitfire here, takes cavalcade instead, so probably implies they've got some creature removal. And we are starting to flood out quite badly. Without Cavalcade, Spitfire doesn't do a whole lot, but we could always top deck another Cavalcade or Hellrider. Thoughtseize takes my last card. Well, at least they did deal themselves for damage with double Thoughtseize. So they're down to 7. Gotta hope there's no Ritual of Soot here, or Languish. Extinction events, gonna deal with double champion. All right, Torbrand's not bad. Bonus down to four. Nickel Bolas gets my last card. And Hellrider's just game over here. Amazing top deck. It's gonna deal nine damage to the opponent before regular combat damage is dealt. And my opponent explodes, so yeah. Couple fortunate top decks here with Torbran into Hellrider to seal the deal even against plenty of disruption. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a nice looking hand. We've got Cavalcade and Hellrider as enablers and Powerling and Spitfire as payoffs. Turn on Elves, definitely scary. Don't have many answers for an early elf. I'll play Parling. Blue-green. 
And then we'll probably curve Spitfire into Hellrider. Ooh, Wild Growth Walker. It's also bad news. Probably should have attacked with Powerlink first, since there's a good chance my opponent just takes it. And hope they don't have any Explorer creatures here. It's gonna be a second walker. Do they have a branch walker to follow up? They don't. So I can play Hellrider. I would get three triggers. So Spitfire goes up to 10 power. Powerling would be four power double strike. So technically they could triple block Hellrider to kill it. But then they would just be dead to the Powerling and the Spitfire, since they also take 3 from the Hellrider, so they would be at 17 taking 18, so they can't even triple block my Hellrider to take it out, so they would just be chum blocking, so yeah, that looks good to me. All right, and our opponent just decides to take it, and they've given up. Can't blame them. All right, sweet, another turn for kill. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. I don't think this hand's gonna cut it, since we're missing an enabler for Powerling, and my hand is kind of weak. All right, this is better. And then... Do I get rid of a Hellrider or like the Torch Courier here? I think I ditch Torch Courier. Means I don't have a one drop, but uh, it's not the most impactful creature outside of giving my Spitfire haste or combining with my Cavalcade, which I don't have. We drew a replacement one drop. Firebrand can also enable Powerling if needed. Opponent on a Planeswalker control deck. We have all the lands we need to cast Hellrider, so... Let's see what my opponent brings to the table, Narset. Finds a Languish, but they're missing black mana to cast it. I will go after Narset to prevent him drawing another card. Just wait a moment. Sadly, no turn 3 play. Catra Triome still doesn't give them access to black mana. Every problem has a solution. Jace is gonna scry to the top. All right, so... Do I go after Jace? I don't think I do. I think I just go face now. And hopefully they won't be able to wipe the board. What a refreshing thought. Jace gonna scry. Both to the bottom. Uro, that's fine. Yeah, my opponent appears pretty dead. I guess they could have a spot removal spell. Alright, Blood Chief's third for Paraling. Although double Hell Rider should do the job. All right, sweet. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a pretty strong hand if we pick up two more lands. So definitely keeping. And then we'll lead with Torch Courier. Uh-oh, opponent also Monorets. 
Yeah, the Mono Red Mirror, if they're playing kind of the burn version, is not a good matchup since they'll have plenty of 3 damage burn spells for Spitfire and Hellrider. So for now, I guess we'll just play Cavalcade and pass. Next turn, I could decide to make a hasty Spitfire by sacrificing Torch Courier. Not sure if that's quite worth it. Bone Crusher Giant just gonna stomp my face. Okay. I guess if they targeted Courier, I could have sacrificed it. And then given the Lava Runner haste, and then it would have fizzled the Bone Crusher stomp. So. Yeah, I'll just play Spitfire and then hit with the Courier. And hope Spitfire doesn't die. If they can kill Spitfire, they're looking at a ton of damage with Hellrider next turn. But Wizard's Lightning gonna take care of the Spitfire. And a Lightning Strike goes face to pump Lava Runner, which is gonna get in for two. Ooh, Torbrain. So do we Torbrain first and then Hellrider next turn? Or the other way around? I think playing Torbrain first makes more sense. If we play Hellrider, we essentially get five additional damage. If we play Torbrain, we also get five additional damage but a Fort Toughness creature is a little bit more difficult for the opponent to get past, and then next turn Torbrand can potentially attack as well, once we play Hellrider to get an extra attack trigger. Slingfire takes out Torbrand, fair enough. Ooh, Spitfire, that's a great draw. Can give it haste with the Torch Courier. And is my opponent dead here? I think they'll fall to one, meaning they're dead next turn if the Firebrand gets sacrificed. So, yeah, let's see if my opponent can deal 10 damage on the way back, because killing all my creatures is not going to work when we have a Hellrider left over. So they're gonna stomp the 1-1 one, one, and then Lightning Strike my Spitfire. So yeah, they're technically still alive, but Hellrider is gonna deal the final point of damage here. So yeah, we definitely had some fortunate draws near the end, but we were able to get there. And yeah, my opponent had to spend quite a few burn spells killing my creatures, which also meant they didn't have enough burn to finish me off. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. We've got an acceptable hands. We're definitely relying on Torbrain to do some of the heavy lifting. Thoughtsy's gonna have a look. Takes Chandra. Ooh, second Fervent Champion was a great draw. Opponents passes with three mana. Yeah, we'll just uh, smash and then Play score spitter. Hope they don't have a sweeper. Could definitely hold the score spitter since in next turn if Torbrand resolves or I just activate Castle, they might already be dead. So there's not much of a point in playing spitter if it's just gonna get killed by a board wipe. Yeah, I'll pass. There's definitely some situations where I might regret not playing it, but... Yeah, we'll attack and then just activate Castle, no need to run into a counter spell.
All right then. Well, my opponents had a bit of interaction with Thoughtseize, but they didn't have much else. Maybe just sitting on a pile of counter spells, who knows. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. We are relying pretty heavily on Spitfire and Hellrider surviving, which is not a given. Play a Torch Courier for now. Hit for two, play a Spitter. And then next turn I could potentially look into giving my Spitfire haste. Alright, Steel Leaf Champion, a pretty big roadblock. So, probably just gonna play Spitfire and chill. And then, as soon as we play Hellrider, if Spitfire is still alive, we might be able to one-hit KO my opponents. Pelt Collector, sure. Into another Steel Leaf. And take five. And there's a land. And there's a Hellrider. Yes, Spitfire and Hellrider is one hell of a combination. Our opponent is trying to make sense of what just happened. But uh, yeah, I've got bad news for them. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with an acceptable hand. Sometimes drawing too many cavalcades alongside Hellrider can be a little awkward since Hellrider is one of the few creatures that doesn't enable cavalcade. But when we have Chandra to enable both cavalcade and Hellrider, we'll definitely keep. Opponent on blue-red, so they might have some cheap Burn spells to take care of my Fervent Champion. It's a Grixis deck even. So having Chandra resolve is going to be pretty key. Definitely take a second Fervent Champion. Narset shows up, that's fine. I train Meditate and, prepare. and what does Narset dig up? Finds Ugin. In a full of so do I actually want to kill Narset him, or leave her at one loyalty? I think leaving her at one is fine. Back in the day of uh, standard, you might want to like kill the Planeswalker to avoid something like the Elder Spell, putting additional loyalty on it, but I don't expect my opponent to have the Elder Spell in the main deck here. And we don't care about not being able to draw cards. Narset of the Ancient Way, okay. I guess that can kill Chandra here. River Rapids. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. I can play Hellrider. 
How much damage are we talking about? 7 plus 3 is 10, so it's not quite lethal. I think we just play the Hellrider. And then we can maybe finish them off with Ramana Prunes. And then do want to finish off the other Narset. Probably should have played Ramana Prunes instead of some of the other lands in case my opponent has some discard effects. Although it's probably not going to be incredibly relevant here, because if they make me discard, they're probably dead. Blaststone on one. Blaststone is pretty good here. Quite ambitious in a four color deck. And yeah, Hellrider attacks, deals three with the trigger and then five more from the attack, so that's game. All right, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Only have Spitter and Firebrand to enable Spitfire, but if we find Hellrider or Cavalcade at any point, this hand becomes a lot better. And sometimes Spitter and Firebrand are enough to enable Spitfire. Turn one elf. Yeah, let's take it out. And green decks are typically weak to Spitfire, but they can quickly put out a big blocker for my smaller creatures. I guess the second champion makes more sense than Spitfire for now. Last zone, so that can destroy all one drops. Opponent plays visionary instead. Interesting. So if I play torch courier, give Spitfire haste, attack with everyone. Spitter triggers Spitfire. I mean, that's probably the play. Since my one drops are gonna die to the blast zone, if my opponent decides to pull the trigger, so might as well get some damage in while we can. And then if I draw land for Ramana Ruins, I could kill them with the uh, Spitfire. Another Lanor Elves. Chandra is gonna be one damage short. But my opponent explodes anyway. Alright, they weren't dead, but yeah, if we at any point find lands to activate Ramana Prunes, they're gonna die as well. So yeah. Overall, I've been quite happy with this Monorat Cavalcade slash Hellrider deck, and we got to see plenty of Hellrider in action. Now, the deck is definitely beatable if you've got a ton of spot removal to take care of the key creatures like Chandra Spitfire and Hellrider before it gets to attack. You can mitigate a lot of damage, so a deck like Mono Red Burn or the Black Red Pyromancer deck are the worst matchups for this type of deck. And in best of three, the deck is going to suffer as people will be able to bring in more answers for our key creatures. But if you're looking for an efficient best of one deck that can quickly get your daily quest completed, and that's also relatively budget friendly, especially once you neglect some of the rares like Castle Embereth, you've got yourself a pretty powerful deck. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.